I've rejuvenated this trailer and I've got the boat back on it. Follow along and you'll see everything I did to this trailer to get it ready for the Boston Whaler restoration. I'm going to go over some things on uh, this uh, Boston Whaler trailer that I'm not particularly happy with. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I'm in the process of restoring this, this boat. But um, what I don't want to do is restore it and then mess up the hole with uh, basically crappy, uh, a crappy trailer setup. So here's the things that are wrong. But for one thing, uh, this bow rattler, I'm going to get a nylon one and um, just, <laughs> I don't want black streaks everywhere. But if you look, this uh, keel roller here is uh, floating. Um, now that might be because when you roll it off, it's a place for the uh, front of the keel to um, basically to roll on it as the uh, back floats up. But the other thing I'm not really thrilled about is the way this boat hangs over the fender. I mean, there's just so much risk to scratch the, actually mar, if not damage the hull when you're putting it on there. And as you can see, this uh, <laughs> this boat has already experienced some of that um, to the point where, let me see if I can get a shot of this. There's some damage to the uh, that part of the keel, so I'll have to rebuild that. I'm probably going to put some padded bunks on the side. Well, we've got the Boston Whaler off of the trailer. Um, you can check out this video to see how we did it. Uh, me and my son um, pulled it off manually and uh, flipped it over. But um, here's the trailer, and uh, I, you saw earlier what some of the issues were. But one of the things that I really don't care for is uh, these black crayons, black rubber. So I'm going to replace uh, all the black rubber with um, polyurethane rollers. Um, Bunks look to be in pretty good condition, so I'm not going to mess with those. What concerns me is these fenders and getting the boat on and off the trailer with those fenders. So you can see that there's a lot of scrapage on the hull, um, to some damage even, which may or may not have been caused by that, but I suspect it was. You can see black streaks from the, uh, you know, like I like to call them, the uh, magic markers. Uh, so we're going to fix that with the polyurethane rollers. I'm also going to take these, I'm going to cut them down obviously, and uh, I'm going to attach them to the fender and uh, so they're about an inch up and put some uh, put some carpeting on it, some uh, bunk uh, trailer carpeting if you will. And uh, the whole idea is that if the boat is off center or leaning to one side when you're getting it on the trailer or off the trailer for that matter, that uh, it'll hit the wood with the carpet rather than, rather than that fender and uh, damaging the hull. <clears throat> I am going to be working on the hull pretty soon, patching up wherever it needs patch up. It's going to get uh, two coats of epoxy coating, uh, excuse me, primer, <clears throat> and um, probably two coats of two-part polyurethane. So uh, you can check that out in the uh, later videos that I'll be posting. But uh, for now, I'm going to get the, uh, the trailer set up and uh, rigged up and hopefully um, perfectly aligned with this, uh, with this whaler. But we'll find out when we get that done. So that's the plan. Stay tuned, keep watching, and you'll see how we get this trailer ready for that Boston Whaler. These are the rollers on the uh, keel rollers. This front one is just designed to hold the keel off of the trailer when you're unloading or loading the boat. So we'll start with this one. Uh, they do have uh, caps on them, so i got to pop those caps off, and I um, believe I have the right caps to replace them, so should be good. All right, so I got all the parts I need to change out the rollers. Um, also going to change out this uh, strap to this. This one's a mess, but uh, we'll start with that. little bit of a pain but um basically it'll go on the same way it came off I think it's probably way longer than it needs to be but that's okay um, I've got a new fresh bolt
doesn't have to be uh, crazy tight, but uh, you do want to snug it up some. And that Loctite will hold it in. And now we wind it up. Fun, fun. So good, now we got this, which replaces this rusty old uh, piece of crap. So that's a good start. Let me uh, get this roller off. Actually, let me show you the roller I'm going to put on there. Just this one. Um, one key difference. This one uses a half inch. So I did buy a half inch uh, bolt for it. Um, let me get that one off. <coughs> Let's get this guy off. And the black, I call it a crayon because it leaves black streaks all over the hull, is going to go into the trash. Um, I am going to have to widen the hull though. So I am going with a half inch bolt. So let me go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is, uh, I've got the uh, BRP OMC triple guard grease. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on this to help it when it rotates. And I did use a stainless bolt. This stuff is amazingly thick. And once again, we're going to get some Loctite on this. I like this gel stuff, it's uh, easy to handle. That should be good enough. That Loctite will hold it all together. All right, on to the next roller. Getting this off is going to be uh, a lot easier. I can put this in a vise and uh, just clobber it through. These are actually aluminum, so I can see why these steel grips um, grip really good. Well, I've got rid of the Atwood uh, rollers because, quite frankly, what they sell is five inch rollers. They're really four and a half, and they just floated around on there. Um, so I ordered these. These are Stoltz um, polyurethane rollers and mansion end caps, and these are actually almost five and a half inches wide, so they'll uh, fit a lot better in that. Let me go ahead and get these in and show you what it looks like. All right, so we got that piece off, and as you saw, those things were a bit of a bear. Now, the one thing to remember is those caps, once you get them off, you're not going to be able to reuse them, so I do have replacements. I'm going to use the same shaft. Straighten that out because I did bend it. And um, when I'm going to do this, I've got a replacement cap. I'm going to tap that one on. And um, make sure it's on there flush, square. Then uh, we'll end up uh, putting the roller on and uh, putting the cap on on the other end. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of grease, marine grade grease on here. This stuff is really thick. Don't need a whole lot.
Now we'll get a cap on the other side, which should be fun. All right, so I'm gonna use this like an anvil, hold it against the other side, and then on this side, I'm just gonna press it on as best I can. Give it a good wrap. And uh, it should be good. So again, this roller just serves there to protect the keel when you're loading and offloading. Uh, the boat doesn't actually rest on this roller when you're, uh, when you're trailering. Maybe now I can get to that cat, maybe. No, maybe not. and put it in the trash bin. All right, I've got a nice layer of grease on this one. Let's get this through here. Hopefully some of the grease will actually get through. And get this guy through here. Get this guy in here. I'm gonna place this cat on here. I'm gonna do just like I did with the other one, maybe. This is gonna be fun. So let me do this a little bit differently. I'm gonna hold this guy on here with like an anvil, tap it in from the other side. As long as we get it started, that's the key thing. Well, these outside guys don't really need to roll that much. As long as I got a little, little bit of roll, I don't care. Um, they're really there to protect the hull if the boat should go on uh, a little crooked or sideways. So I've got the rollers on, um, trailer's ready except for one thing, that's getting these little side bunks that I'm going to do. Um, I've got the uh, the uh, trailer carpet uh, for it, the bunk carpet, and uh, just waiting on some stainless staples. I don't want to put regular staples in there and have them rust away and the whole thing dissolves in a year or two. So uh, once, uh, once those come in, I'll uh, cut these down to size, get them wrapped and attach them to the fender. It's been a few months since I've done anything with this trailer, but um, the hull is finished. And I need to get the trailer done. There's the hull. You can see that uh, nice and shiny. Um, I want to. I want to definitely get the um, trailer done so I can flip the hull over and um, get it up on the trailer so I can start putting the interior together. So um, what I'm doing, the last bits, got the rollers replaced, bunk carpet's fine. Is I'm going to cut these. Let me give you a close-up. Show you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be cutting these so that they fit just above the fender. Putting um, bunk carpeting on them from Sea Sense. Got stainless staples to get the bunk carpeting on. And uh, the whole idea, these are not there to support any weight. All they're there to do is if, if the boat tips in one direction or the other while it's being loaded or unloaded, that those outside chines won't scrape against the uh, fender. So let me go ahead and get started with that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is cut these. I've already marked them.
So the next step is going to be mounting this. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. Try to get a good shot here. I've got these bolts and uh, I'm going to be using those and washers. After drilling holes inside the uh, fender, probably one, two, three, four, probably five altogether. That's what I'm thinking. One thing you'll see down here is I've got some uh, paint sticks just space, giving it some space, lifting it up. I want it high enough that it's going to protect the chine. But let me get this out of the way for right now and um, get some holes drilled out. And uh, you'll see how I attach this in a moment. Just want to reiterate, these things are not really load bearing. They're there in case of an emergency. That's their only purpose in life is if the bolt tilts and uh, it's just there to keep the chine off of the fender. That is done. All right, so we got those. Uh, we got one of the bunks on. I'll get the other bunk on. I'll get the boat flipped over. Um, after that, we'll do some final adjustments, and I'll show you how uh, Boston Whaler is supposed to sit on the uh, on a trailer with uh, rollers on the keel and bunks for uh, support. Let me go over a few points on how Boston Whaler recommended that at least these classics uh, be put on the trailer. So, for one thing, you'll notice that there's a roller that's not touching anything that does belong there. Its purpose in life is to help protect the keel when you're loading or unloading. Now if you look further down, you'll see that the keel's resting on the two rollers. Uh, the bunks have some weight on them, but Boston Whaler does recommend that uh, the bunks don't carry a lot of weight. The rollers should carry the bulk of the weight, and the bunks should just be there to help stabilize the boat so it doesn't rock back and forth. Here's those little side bunks I put on. Um, basically, they're just there to protect the uh, protect the boat. Should it tip one way or the other um, while you're loading or unloading, uh, don't want it to scrape against the fender. There's been a lot of work put into this boat, and that would really suck. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, share it, like it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.